right, Overdose Talk Show. Uh, to start this video out, I say hello to my friend Alex joining me on Skype. What's up, buddy? Hey, man. Uh, been better. Oh, yeah? Uh, Why? Are you bummed out about the the gang stalking no, phenomenon? People have, been, people have been following me. <laughs> dude, <laughs> I cannot get enough <laughs> gang stalking videos. This is fucking it's incredible. It's the best thing I've ever seen. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, dude. I mean... Let's start off first, because I, I don't want to have to deal with this shit in comments. We're never going to to say that this type of thing isn't possible. You know, I think um, the idea of uh, this sort of like covert harassment and, and kind of trying to get in people's heads and drive them nuts. I think there is some evidence that the CIA has worked on tactics like that. And, you know, I'm not going to say that this hasn't ever happened to people where they're slowly driven crazy by constant surveillance, stalking, and, and harassment. You know what I mean? Uh, but I can confidently say that it is not happening to 99% of the people on YouTube. <laughs> this is clearly a thing that people have latched onto, uh, you know, and it's a cult, it's, it's a whole like culture inside of YouTube and this whole community of people that kind of reaffirm each other's paranoia and you know they're all they're all convinced that there's teams of hundreds or thousands of people dedicated to driving them insane and this is something if you've ever had a friend or family member that went nuts this is just classic uh, you know mentally ill uh, behavior. This is something that's common with all kinds of mental illness is they'll always be convinced that everybody else conspired to make them look crazy. You know, exactly. that's exactly. And I, I feel like if some of these people weren't ever sick, or, like, I mean, they weren't ever thinking people were following them before and they were just kind of going a little nutty and then they found this stuff. Right. They would easily they're just convincing themselves that all this is happening it's and, also and like, it's also part of like the human condition to be tempted to believe that your everyday life may be more than it seems you know like everybody uh wants to believe once in a while that they're a little more special than they actually are you know and that's that's what i see with these people that think they're being gang stalked which we're gonna watch some of these it's it's it is truly astounding the uh the level of just absolute looniness that's going on here. Um, but, you know, uh, it's it's a way for a, a, a loser kind of person with nothing going on to believe that they're actually this super, you know, woke uh, individual that they're that the government is trying to discredit and drive insane and the funniest thing about that is most of these people don't do anything it's like if it was like a journalist or a fucking podcaster who had uh who had you know done something or said something that was dangerous to like oil companies or the government i could i could go along with it maybe a little bit but most of these people aren't doing anything there is no reason to harass them Right. And then uh, even when I found someone who said they were uh, like a health blogger speaking out against GMOs and stuff, they they were one of the craziest ones. Um, it, it just it always gets better. Let's just jump into this. Yeah, dude, because I kept thinking that we would come across one that uh, that would be, you know, somehow maybe intriguing at least or, or a little right. bit believable. Every single one of these videos I've watched has just been a crazy person babbling, filming like a town and people going about their everyday business and 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 deciding that this entire society is orchestrated around driving that. I mean, imagine the level of just narcissism that this takes. You know what I mean? This is like and they're driving around. There's red cars everywhere. Really? You I mean these people are convinced that that someone has the motive to spend millions of dollars <laughs> harassing them. You know, there's helicopters and planes involved, and UPS trucks, and it's just let's 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 get into some of these. Alex Jones even addressed it uh, once and upon a time. Question was, uh, I've never heard you talk about uh, gang stalking, which I've been a victim of for about a year now. Not job. I've only seen like it. one article on it on your website. I just wanted to see what you had to say about that. Nick, I appreciate your call. Um, 
There are moves by the government for secret mind control operations. That's been declassified back in the 70s, MK Ultra, MK Naomi. Uh, there are mind control experiments going on at, at mental health institutions everywhere. Uh, there are cases of government harassment against people. But also, there's a lot of paranoia and schizophrenia. Right. Uh, so that's, I myself uh, have attracted that, obviously, with some people. And, you know, they'll show up or see me on the street and say, you put a chip in my brain. I've seen people go to the county. That's about pretty much what we're saying. Bitch. Right? Bitch. <laughs> That's that's pretty much what I think is like, yeah, there, it's it's not we're not saying that these tactics don't exist and that this has never, ever happened to anyone. We're just saying that people like, let's see, nappy head roots. I guess we'll start with him. <laughs> this guy. And that's the other thing about these people. They're just going around stalking. They're the ones stalking people. They're, they're, they're stalking. Exactly. They're trailing people, just confronting them. Look at this. This guy harasses this same poor old man in this park all the time. Caught in your backup, huh? That's, he's convinced she's a handler, by the way. You're back, huh? We're not here. Same position. Three weeks you are not here. Huh? Last week you were not here. You were looking for me, huh? Yeah. Uh, your car, not here. Uh, <laughs> I didn't look your so car. So this is a nice old man who doesn't speak English very well. What is, what is he? Maybe Greek or uh, somewhere over there? I don't some, know. Yeah, something, I don't know, maybe really more know. Eastern. Yeah. Something Eastern. Right. Uh, yeah, he's probably not great. He's a nice, no. li nice little old man. He doesn't speak English very well. You know, I've watched a bunch of these videos, so what I know about this guy is he doesn't have much going on. He tells him, you know, yeah, I, I hang out, I go eat, I live at my sister's house. You know, he may have just moved here, who knows. And um, he's probably this, retired. This crazy, he, does, he, he doesn't. And this crazy man's attack, like, just. Yeah, this, guy, this is a guy who, <laughs> an old guy who hangs out in the park. That's what's yeah, going on here. I got two. Hmm? Yeah. Hey, oh, let me ask you. Let me ask you a question. Honestly, why are you trying to kill me, man? <laughs> <laughs> For real, man. Come on. Why? But here's the thing. You would think this is a joke. This guy making this video is completely serious. Check no. his check his username. He makes endless amounts of these. We didn't even see maybe half of them. No, we've just started dipping into this, and it's it's this is a treasure trove of fucking insanity. It's absolutely nuts. The uh. This guy making this video is completely serious. The guy that he's filming, I don't think he really ever is clear on what exactly is going on here. I think he thinks the, that the guy is joking around with him. You know, the so he's never, he, the people are never clear what's going on. The people never on. know what they're talking. They're just going, okay, so you're saying just, what? That I'm. There's this crazy guy who's in my face with the camera. Laughing, yeah, saying, and then in the comments, oh. people are like, "Yeah, look how they didn't want, want to be uh, filmed. It's very suspicious." And yeah, he's <laughs> he's being evasive. It's like, no, they're nervous because a crazy person is approaching them and saying shit that they have no fucking clue what they're talking about. And it, oh, look how he wouldn't admit it. He's good, you know. Like Jesus, dude, I didn't know that oh. this existed on this scale. I swear to God, I don't know how I'm so late to this party, but I did not know that this level of craziness existed on this fucking scale like you know what i mean that there's there's hundreds of people uploading these videos and a giant community around it yeah how does this exist well you're trying to make me kill myself <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong man what, what did i do to make you want to kill me man come on man this guy no, you want me to kill myself this old guy has no clue Why what the fuck is going on myself? right now. And the guy making the video sounds like he's smiling and, and kind of laughing. So he's just laughing. He's just, oh, he thinks it's a joke. Oh, okay, yeah, I don't... I I, he's probably thinking to himself, what the fuck? I don't know. But, you know, uh, for somebody who's constantly in an environment where he doesn't speak the language that well, he's probably used to just kind of smiling and nodding at a lot of stuff. You know what I mean? I yeah. would think. So that's what that's what that is. He then he finds him again. This is a this Watch is a whole this. different day. Okay. Good, good. Uh, what time? Uh, yes, uh, later. Later I go. Yes, and uh, what time I what time I pick you up for the movie? Oh. It's seven o'clock it's not seven o'clock. You see this bullshit conversation? Yeah. <laughs> this conversation uh, but, uh, is not real. If you want, 
<laughs> Imagine doing this. This guy thinks he's like really in tune. And he's figured it out too. He's like, oh, look at this. This is fake ass conversation. <laughs> and this was like fuck. the first one I saw from this guy. And this was one of the first ones. And this just drew me in so much. Right. How does this? I mean. And what? by the way, and where were all I, where were all these people doing this when they before YouTube? Where did this did this community exist back then? I don't know. And what you know, or did they have to find some other way to try to have a grandiose interpretation of their very mundane little life? You know, because that's really what this is. This guy can't fucking stand that he's just a normal asshole, and and he's <laughs> had to invent this entire universe of of just deranged fantasy just to just to cope with the fact that he's nothing special you know what i mean and, I, I think and i've seen i've seen they all get like 98 percent positive comments and then like a couple things with people actually calling them out and they ignore it or if people to tell them they just completely disagree with it I watched like some weird documentary and um well and this is what people will say that that think about that think this is going on and if they hear this video and go you guys are naive you don't know what's going on and they literally <laughs> think that this is part of you know some of them think it's freemasons some of them think it's satanic some of them mm -hmm. think it's they're literally possessed by demons mm -hmm. still the things that you're proposing would take quite a bit of earthly resources and yeah e even if okay i'm not even gonna get into this but let's just say even if there is real spiritual warfare going on in the streets uh you'd have to be it'd be a stretch that most of these people would be that important to this organization to spend millions of dollars orchestrating an entire society around but that's the other. They're always saying, "Look, they're doing this to try to drive me nuts." They're not doing any. No, nothing's happening. And that's what's so great about this. Nothing happens in any of these videos. Ever. You can watch all these videos. They're convinced that something happened because they set it on camera, then they uploaded it. Nothing happens <laughs> ever. So it's ever. like, look ever. at this. Look at. They're just pointing around like at a town, on like a normal town. Look at that guy walking there. He scratched his head, and a couple of red cars just. And it's like. This is all to drive me insane. Oh, yeah. And 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 I, and so as insane as that is, what's more insane is to think that if someone was trying to drive you insane, that they would do it by having people do completely normal things around you. What the fuck is it? How is this? How would this even drive anyone insane? You know what I mean? Like they're dude, acting I, like, look at this shit there. This is this is all for me to, to just make me cr like what is what is cars driving yeah. by? What are you talking about? That, and these are like, there's some people that go into it a little more, research the government, you know, learn about like heart attack guns and stuff. And they say that people are ch talking to them in their in their head. And they can, there's, they, some of them say that there's a peep, someone sitting in a tech room and then there's, they're just saying things and it's going through their head. You and wouldn't saw, do it. Yeah. If you guys out there it, haven't checked these out, you would not believe the comment sections of these things are twice as crazy the way, as the videos. It's just this, it's, these people are bad influences on each other, man. And when they like, when they affirm these weird paranoias, it's, it's just, I don't know, man. I, it's very unhealthy. I'm it's, if it wasn't so absurd, you know, it's not even like funny in a classic sense. It's just so absurd that that I'm laughing my ass off at it, but it's actually, I mean, it's really sad. It's not, I mean. Yeah, I do feel bad, you know, and because these people are clearly, clearly going through hell. Right. And a hell they're, the hell that they're manufacturing. But they're doing it. They're just, <laughs> I mean, they're going, they're driving me. Like, no, dude, you're, here's the thing. If gang stalking was real and it was happening to me, I would never fucking notice and it would do it would do nothing to me that red cars were driving by and people were scratching their heads on the street that would affect me zero so uh you know they're doing it completely to themselves completely there's not even a weird coincidence to go to go into this they always keep talking about red cars white cars i always see you. those are in the top 5 i looked this up dude just because i mean 
the, the, the most popular color for cars, it's like 25% of new cars sold in the past few years, is white. And then in the top five is black, gray, red, something else. But they're always talking about black, white, red. Those are in the top five most popular colors of cars in the country. So that could have something to do with why you're seeing more of them. I don't know what these people expect to see. There's not a lot of fucking tie-dye cars driving around. There's only really a few colors of cars. So I don't really know what they're looking for out there that they think it's so strange that they're seeing the same colors of cars. But here, let's we got to do we got to keep moving here. Let's do this one. All right. I'm stepping out of the Starbucks and this is what we see, a FedEx truck. Yeah. A police cruiser Holy over shit. here. You got the US po By the way, this guy's in downtown LA. So he's going to show you how strange it is that there's I guess activity in downtown LA. Yeah. Full service right here. Hold on, then we got a, another UPS truck over here. There's an agent behind me sitting at the table, but I'm not gonna blow his an cover. I don't really feel like being a dick right now, but I'm gonna film him right here. What is this? The fuck? Okay, dude, now they're leaving because I'm on the move. As I move, like I said, okay? Awesome. I got it. I'm trying to get eerie dis it, it's footage and evidence that you cannot deny so people aren't just saying to me, that's just a FedEx truck. That's just a UPS truck. You're crazy. You're, you're losing your mind. You're delusional. No, I'm just super fucking on point. What are these people and trying to show, dude? And like I just know what I'm talking about. And what I'm really trying to do here, the point I'm trying to make what is, is the f there's a reason all is, these things are following <laughs> me. Okay, now here come the fire engines now. They're going to start locking down the area. <laughs> what happens? <laughs> They're locking down the area. Because what I know is These, so, Do you see the fucking... Uh, the, 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 scale, the, the scale of these people's delusion. Just the sheer size of the... I don't even know what you say. Just it's... It's, the, it's, it's absolutely... They're dangerously insane, dude. I mean... I mean, dude. The army follows me around. <laughs> um, no, but these people, these people are discrediting what does go on, undoubtedly, like weird stuff with the CIA. But they're just it, this really bugs right, me. Right, dude. Like I, I, like I said, like it, I believe that you know this is a tactic that has been used. You know, um, I think it used to happen to William Cooper, actually, if you know who that is. Um, but it, it, it's that's that's a person who was dedicating his life to exposing the federal government's bullshit. So, you know, it's it's like, okay, I could listen to him say that. But, <laughs> dude, it's it's just, like, this guy, you know, did, did, he, did he invent a fucking water-powered engine and the oil companies are, you know, they never explain what the fuck is, is why, why they're being targeted or what they, it's, this guy will tell you that he's just so goddamn smart. Powerful and worth so much that I have to have the FBI, the CIA, the NSA, <laughs> extraterrestrial beings all taking an eye on me, on what I'm doing and what my plan is and who I'm talking to and everything. I swear, you think these people are doing this as a skit. It's not. This it's is not a This joke. is serious, I mean, dude. yeah, because they have pages of these videos. I, I, I've I, spent a lot of time looking at these people. Yeah, me too. This guy uh, this guy will go on for a while talking about the knowledge, vaguely, some vague knowledge that he has that's causing all of this to happen. So then I want to skip up to here. This was my favorite point. <laughs> Let's just for, to, to change people's lives to ha so they can have a better life. They ha they can learn how to live and not struggle. Um, because I know too much about the struggle, man. I've been struggling my whole life, but it's time that that ends. And I'm gonna bring everybody up with me if I can, not pull them down. Shut down and shut up. Yes, UPS guy. Okay. Okay. This guy thinks it's so, weird that in downtown LA there's packages being delivered, you know. It's this couldn't be for anything other than to drive you insane. After all, who wouldn't be dri driven insane by seeing a FedEx and a UPS truck in the same day? Uh, that's absolutely yeah, mind-blowing. Yeah, that like 
Am I to believe that packages are delivered every day? Yes. I mean, please. This is obviously street theater, they call it. <laughs> I got that. All right, look. So I'm in a parking lot. I'm going to hang a left. And I'm, I'm, this is not a, a, a hot, This is not edited. This is. I've never taken this route before. I haven't planned it. I, I don't know what I'm going to see when I turn around this corner. <laughs> I, I, do, I do know what I'm going to see when I turn He does corner, know, but, but he's not going to tell you. I haven't looked around this corner. Right. But as we walk down the street... You're gonna see the trucks again. You're gonna see the same things I keep pointing out. Nope. Okay. I bet you're not. <sighs> nope. See, then he just, he's gonna just change it though. Watch. Now, it's, it's not, okay, here's the U.S. Postal Service. Where? Coming. I don't I'm see that. Right here. Uh, now, he you see all the buses up. are stopped, and then when I've stopped, they all started going. Because it's all arranged, pre-arranged for me when I walk down the street. All these cars, all these buses, they already know I'm coming down the street. So they all stare at me because they're curious as who, who I am. I can see it in their eyes. Just like, how do you know? Do you see? <laughs> Do you see what's going this on? What we've been, this is what we've been dealing with. Dude, uh, I, but I can't, I, like I said before, I cannot get enough of these. I'm going to be watching these for days and days because it's just, it's unbelievable. I, I, I don't know. I just, I literally, I can't believe this giant community exists. And these people, every fucking last one of them is batshit nuts. Every, every single fucking one of them. And it couldn't be funnier. I implore everyone to watch some of these Dude, and just dig into it. <laughs> it's just I, we thought we actually thought because there because usually when you see something uh, that seems kind of outlandish or crazy, but then you notice there's a giant community that takes it seriously. You go, OK, there's got to be some truth to this somewhere then, you know, um, or there at least a reason. You know what I mean? At least you'll you'll right. figure out why people could think this. This is nothing like that. This is just, this is just a an a, a this, an, an online loony bin, of of yeah. Just, this is this isn't this isn't people saying we never we've never been to the moon. This is right insanity. Yeah, <laughs> right. Uh, okay, pure. It's yeah, purely made up. So this guy um, has already told a whole story to sum up. He, uh, you know, some gang stalkers drove him off the highway after they ruined his life and he was leaving town. And they drove him off the highway and he crashed. And then he was walking and uh, down the highway and gang stalkers and semi trucks were trying to hit him and all this stuff. Because, you know, uh, for this guy, they have organized hundreds of people we, and well, they've what, timed what, out what? guys in semi trucks 20 he minutes back down the day. road so that he'll crash. And then the semi trucks will get him while he's walking. And like, it's just, dude, it, it, you, if somebody described this to me and I hadn't seen it, I wouldn't believe them. I would think they were exaggerating. Sorry, what were you saying? This guy calls this his D-Day, that they, yeah, they set up all of this yeah, to so, drive him to the brink of insanity. Right. And so I'm, uh, so I'm, I'm skipping ahead in this one just to show you some of the good stuff. Lights. Here's where it gets really crazy. Okay, so all that finished shit. finished the repairs on my vehicle. It hadn't gotten crazy yet. This is the one. He's he's back with uh, his girlfriend and a good friend Head of his. Head to my ex-girlfriend's house. We walk in and everything is cool. We start visiting and then me and Matt decide to go to Walmart. The plan is to buy spy cameras and a dash camera. <laughs> we find both. I notice, however, that Matt is doing the same hand signals to the other patrons in Walmart that all my perpetrators use. Yeah, which he is, wasn't doing this before. All these people which, too. The hand the hand signals they always talk about it, it's like scratching, scratching your head, scratching your nose. Um, you know, it's like the apparently to most of these people, the only thing that would possibly be appropriate for a person to do in public is to stand completely still with their hands in their pockets always. This none of this adds up. People are moving. I can't I mean, why are you moving? This, so imagine being this guy's friend who's probably being nice to him as nice as he can while this guy is going clearly insane. Yeah. You understand? Like, there, he's probably got a couple of people left in his life just hanging on, just trying to be oh. nice to him. And you're walking yeah, that's what, you're walking that's with That's what this I guy. wanted to say. It was, I, I think most of these people, if they've chased away majority of any friends, family, 
And I, but then they sure blame that, they blame that they go oh, all my friends and family got recruited by the gang stalking yeah. organization, and none of them ever have any. There's no name of this. There's yeah. no way to no, you no know fact, like no evidence. Nothing. Nothing. It's all it's all psychotic speculation. And they need to stop driving themselves insane and stop encouraging each other. Although oh. I'll watch these for the rest of my life. Like I, if yeah, they want to do this, I'll fucking watch. I mean, it's it's. Spectacular. Just, yeah, they are killing themselves, but I, what are you going to do? I don't know, man. These people would, <laughs> if it wasn't for this and they didn't find this community and imagine that they were also a victim of this, uh, they would have done something else destructive, I guess. You know, they would become obsessed with something else. Um, but this is so common for crazy people. I had a friend that went fucking nuts and he, he was doing shit like this. He was sitting in his front yard, uh, writing down the license plate number and time that every car passed by and sh- and like tracking his whole neighborhood and stuff. Cause he thought, I don't know. He thought some kind of Truman show thing was going on, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, let's, uh, let's check this guy out and what he does with his friend here in Walmart. I couldn't believe my eyes. I told him to stop scratching his head in the same spot. Every time we pass somebody in the store, he said, okay, but continued to signal to people. I told him to stop again, and I was going to slap the fucking shit out of him if he did it again. At this point, he became really nervous. Why do you think he became nervous? See, these people have, it's just, yes. because they, because he was scratching his head and you told him you were going to hit him if he didn't stop scratching his head. Well, that's, a, dude, another, th- they think they're really perceptive, but they're missing on the most basic social things. Right. Like. You're being crazy, and that's why this person's uncomfortable there. Is this schizophrenia? Is that what this is? Is this just... um, Or, like, dissociative personality disorder? I don't know exactly. Yeah. Okay, hold on. let's finish this guy up. He was really smug and kept hand signaling to everybody we passed smug. on the way back to Suki's, who is my ex. I pull Suki aside and tell her that I believe Matt is involved. She tells me to relax, sit down... Then I'm just being paranoid. I foolishly tell myself that the truth is just that. Now my ex-GF's friend comes over. One is my old manager from the restaurant I used to work at. (laughs) We smoke some pot, and I melt into the couch. Do ya? I pull my hoodie tight around my face, and I laugh. Yeah. My old manager looks at me and says, Does that make you feel safe when you do that? It was fucking chilling. (laughs) No, it wasn't. I didn't think anything of it. (laughs) You guys were getting high, and you wrapped yourself up, and he tried to make a joke. Do you see how simple? There's nothing. There's nothing to any of these. (sighs) Um, This guy. Oh, my God. COINTELPRO, gang stalking counter surveillance, May 2014. Look, this guy's just driving around, I guess, looking. This is the other thing. They're just driving around looking for this. You know, if they just went about their day. (laughs) <laughs> just, just, just get, you know, That's, calm yeah. down, get a hobby, and, you know. By the way, these people are the ones stalking people. Exactly. <laughs> uh, look at this guy. Oh, right on cue. They all, they all have that of just like, huh, yeah, you tried to fool me by pulling into a parking lot in your red car. I see it. You know, it's like this real, just, what do you Ugh. Whiskey, whiskey, papa, nine or two, eight, one, accurate. <laughs> White female driving. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta hear that again. Wait. Oh, uh, nine or two, eight, one, a- Sorry. Whiskey, whiskey, papa, nine or two, eight, one, Acura, maroon in color. White female driving. Oh, God, he's so slick and in charge, right? You can tell by the way he yeah. talks. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe this is real. Oh, by the way, I so, think the I think the documentary I watched said there were like at least 10,000 videos or maybe tens of thousands. There's a lot. Dude. No, go ahead. I mean, there's just there's so many people. This is endless and I it's it's really kind of you don't believe it until you. I, I don't know. I'm thinking, hearing this, you wouldn't believe it. You really got to go uh, watch something. White female, blonde, <sighs> age late twenties, <laughs> stuff on her face with something. So he answers his own question here and doesn't realize it. He thinks it's very strange that this person is sitting in the parking lot for a few minutes and then drives away. She's eating. You fucking asshole. 
And then he parks like a weirdo and watch. This is the most, It's the, isn't this the most weird thing about, like, it is. Like, you're the one being creepy, dude. You're right. the one doing something weird. You're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, right, it's just. <sighs> Look at him. He's going to pull over here and watch her. I know who you are, scum. I know you get off on murder and death. Yeah. <laughs> They're demons. Look at all these demons just delivering packages, driving cars, stopping for a few minutes and going. They're demonic. <laughs> Private intelligence arms of the National Security Council of the White House, both parties, are after me. <laughs> right. Because I've got an extreme level of knowledge that I can't even bother explaining to you right now. This guy, uh, Brian Two, punched in face by organized stalkers. Organized stalkers. So this guy, right? He doesn't he do all these two, or he's always he's he's big in this community. <laughs> okay, yeah, and he's he's always showing that, <clears throat> you know, I live in this neighborhood, and I always see the same people. That's <laughs> not weird. You fucking, <laughs> at, you know what do you? What do you think is going on? You're supposed, everybody's supposed to be changing in and out all every day. You're never going to see the same people when you basically have, everybody's on schedules. You don't think you're going to possibly run into the same people and see the same cars and whatever the fuck you're worried about? This guy has been, is, <laughs> dude, let's just watch this. This is Brian. I've been punched in the mouth. As you can see, my face I bet is you have. blood in my mouth. Uh, police just walked away. Uh... This lady here just told me that there is no ambulance coming. <laughs> He's just uh, laying on the floor. And <laughs> that uh, police just, just left, and they're not going to help me anymore. And the fall also hurt my back. Uh, as you can see, the side of my face is swollen in my lips. I got blood in my mouth. And uh, so they're, they're, not, they're, not help, they're not helping me. Uh, no, this, you don't need help. Talking, um, this is another characteristic of these people is someone help me. It's it's people with, I guess, like an extreme victim complex and, and you know, a dash of, uh, well, not a dash, a fucking a, a large bowl full of paranoia and delusions of grandeur. It's the greatest cocktail of insanity oh. I've ever seen. And then just people reaffirming this crazy shit you're thinking. Um, what the fuck was that? I don't know. Somebody uh -huh. sending me messages. All right, sorry. Uh, it's actually about this. Uh, one of my other friends just said, "Are you sure? Are you, like, are you sure these people aren't just uh, doing this as a joke?" Like, I thought yeah. so for a while too. Believe me, I did. But I, dude, I, I, they, I don't think it is, dude. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, dude. I've looked through like the history of these people posting these videos. You can see that they're tormented in their eyes. Yeah. Um, you can see <clears> their. You can see their health decline, their mental health, their physical health. Yeah, that's this the thing. Most of these people don't seem to be having a good time with this, you know. No. It's it's fucking a nightmare for them, but they're crazy. All right, hold on. Let's see. It's just, you know, this is the Colombian. They're the slaves of the Americans, so they're not going to help me. And my mouth is swelling up, and... I got blood in my mouth, and I, I hurt my lower back. Again. Yeah, we heard she, that. The lady is telling me she just spoke to the police, and she's telling me now. She, that, that lady just is, is over it. She just doesn't give a shit. Like nobody's, everybody's. This guy's been laying on the ground probably for twenty minutes, and they're just sick of him. Just like, dude, shut up, get up. Fuck I'm a target this. individual. Yeah, this is organized <laughs> stalking. This is Ryan Two, September twelfth, two thousand sixteen. I mean, he was probably saying something crazy to the wrong person. That's that's what I'm sure what happened. Hey, he's probably asked somebody why they were stalking him, and they said, get the fuck out of my face, and he said something, and they punched him. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah. I'm sure that's what happened here, no? Probably. Um, okay. I think, uh, I think we got one more, right? And we're going to do more videos on this because... We're just dipping our toes in. Honestly, yeah, we're we're just blown. We found out about this yesterday, and we're just blown away right now. <laughs> so, this this girl, I mean, this is one that it's like it's sad, dude. It's it, this one. It's it's. I guess it could be funny too, but it's like 
Man, imagine believing what this woman is about to say. Hold this on. is my first video. The, um, being a targeted individual, my speech is being slurred and interrupted right now. There are women voices and men voices uh, that are interrupting my thoughts, and I'm getting shocked in my, my ear and my head. I'm getting raped all day, 24 hours a, a day, seven days a week. I'm always getting raped and shocked. There's women in my ear right now, men in my ear right now, kids. They're exploiting kids, and I'm being trafficked. Um, by these people that I'm being trafficked, trafficked. I'm being trafficked, <laughs> dude. I mean, <laughs> she's also being raped right now. I mean, this is a rough video, but oh. this is like these people, man. It's just it, at the end of the day, it's just disturbing and sad. Most, yeah, mostly, you know. I, or, I really can't believe how how many people there are that seem to be affected by this yes exactly i know uh that's what that's what's so completely compelling about it if it was just five or ten people it really wouldn't be the same but this is to me uh, you know as like an individualist i don't usually like to take this type of argument but i honestly think these people are enabling each other to a yes. to a dangerous degree and because like when when people are prone to believe completely made up scenarios, you know, the the only thing that could make that worse is anyone else indulging in it. You know, so it's it's like this is a, just is a recipe for they, dangerous they all, insanity. I'm sorry. They, 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 were, they repeat the same talking points to each other. Like they all say that the goal is for them to kill themselves and that's what people are trying to do and they confirm that and then they they all tell each other there's no hope and you can't do anything and it's just this insane community of enablers right and then and then they're they're constantly saying these people are trying to get me to kill myself you know i, I don't want it to work and blah 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 it's like dude and then in the comments there's just people it's like agreeing with them right and they? and you're eventually there a lot i'm sure that all these people must commit suicide sometimes you know oh a lot of them do yeah <laughs> do they really okay yeah no in the documentary uh because i would almost think I heard, that I there, heard, there was there two people, sorry i was just I going to say it people last few years that did okay because i was almost thinking that they they must be too self-centered to commit suicide nope but they do huh yeah <laughs> what do I, what did you watch uh there's a vice documentary out actually oh okay um they, they clearly found a couple of nutty people in the uk and filmed them and they, they kind of made them seem almost credible in the beginning like a few of the people will like you want to believe them and you're like maybe this is the one maybe this is i'm actually gonna find something that's the temptation when you're somebody like us who uh <laughs> you know i like a lot of people think i'm crazy because like i believe that the two-party system is designed to in, enslave you and and that there's no point in voting like that's a thing that's like some people think is crazy you know, I this this made me feel a lot better just about myself. And like sometimes I might feel like people think I'm nuts or I'm a little unstable. Come on, dude, this is I'm I'm I've got my life completely together compared to this shit. Um, hold on, let's uh, see a little bit more of this uh, targeted individual, Tamia Smothers. Is that yeah? They're talking to me right now. They're driving by. They're driving by in cars. Uh, they're cops stalking me now. Yep. I'm being threatened. They tell me that I'm, I'm dead I'm like every single second of the day, every minute of the day. And they keep they keep wanting me. They're disturbing my speech. Every time a, a word is mispronounced, uh, they can disrupt your speech. Um, Are you I'm sure? Brain I, what? You're a fucking uh, Sure, she's. It's not because she's a fucking idiot. Yeah, and like the, again, like do you see what these people are worried about? They're driving by in cars. It's a street. You live in a town that has streets. That's what's driving these people. It's like, it's so unbelievably simple. And it's and and what's driving these people nuts? A mailman. A fucking car drove by. Uh, you know the 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 breeze always blows in this direction. It's like what the you guys. Come on, you know, I want to talk to these people and just like, maybe they just need, you know, maybe some of these people need someone in their life to go to Mia for real. 
sit down, come here. You know, I, I want to talk to you about this. You can't actually believe this because I, <laughs> you know, a lot of people that are nuts could come back. I truly do believe yeah. that. You know? Oh yeah. I've seen it happen multiple times. Um, where people had to be committed and were completely loony and then and then were able to work through it, you know, and, and get yeah. back to a normal state of mind. Maybe these pe- these people just need, you know, if you know somebody that's uploading gang stalking videos, go hang or, out. Or, go. You know what? What's the target individual is actually a more common uh uh, headline targeted or individual yeah if you know any of these people spend some time with them please go over there and, and talk to them about this and, and point out to them that the things that they're worried about are nothing what are you doing driving yourself insane it's I literally mean, nothing I think like if they just think people are following them and the UPS truck and the cops and helicopters are following them you can kind of make some rational arguments that you know look at the amount of resources it would take to do this and in people but if they think it's demonic possession i don't know if you can help those people and and also you know i i still have i'm sure it's out there i have yet to find the one that's true because i could see this happening in like a small town you pissed off maybe the wrong uh somebody in in politics or uh, the police or something like that and everybody knows each other and you become a pariah and maybe something like this could happen you know what i mean i i I do i I expect we'll eventually find something like that but you know i mean this lady's i'm making this video um i'm recording videos of the gang stalking i'm recording videos now uh, I have pictures of my skin. My face is dried out. They target my lips, my mouth. I get shocked in my mouth. That's um, why. Yeah. I get burned all around my neck. There's a rash. Show it to us. Around my You're neck, correct. where they, they burn correct. me with red. Her neck skin looks perfectly smooth. Dude, it looks. Jesus. It looks. It actually looks pretty nice. I'd kiss her neck. Um, my vagina a, oh. is, is burned and attacked. I'm getting raped, tortured, and attacked with women in my ears as well as men. They're they're white, they're black, they're Spanish, they're Haitian. A lot of them are Haitian and African. Blacks. Um, yeah. They work in hospitals. I was raped and starved in a hospital uh, by the doctors and nurses. Oh, Jesus. I was told me to be careful. I was set up uh, by... Uh, East Orange Housing Authority, uh, the workers in the office, uh, Littleton, Shirley Littleton. and I could listen to this all day. I don't know why. The, I mean, these people, like, the fact that it's so entertaining, I guess it might be an indication that it's, it's maybe there's a quality about a lot of these people that's sort of hypnotic. So if you were prone to believing something like this, it's, I could see it being very easy to be drawn in, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's... I mean, it's clearly like they found some comfort in knowing that there's other people that think this is going on or, you know, are just crazy. And I, I, it's just so fucking weird that they all – they're all saying this. I and mean, there's 10,000 people saying this. And again, this that's, what, that's what leads you to approach it from like, okay, is this a giant joke or is there some truth to some of this stuff? But this like, some, yeah, dude, I, some, I, I'm saying – Is some YouTube psyop? Yeah, if you guys out there who are watching this have – a video that has something in it let us know please you know, like and i don't want to see that it's amazing that you saw four red cars on your way to the store you know i don't it's like uh, it, it, you probably and some of these people probably are filming constantly that's the other thing they're probably filming constantly and then once in a while something sort of out of the ordinary or coincidental happens and they go see look at this you know all right fucking all right. Anyways, uh, All right. we'll do Wait, more, we'll do more of these videos soon, and uh, let's get out of here for now. I've had enough of these people for a few minutes. I know as soon as soon as I go out for a cigarette, I'm gonna start watching these fucking assholes again. Are you there? What the fuck is going Dude, on? I'm thinking you're just gonna end the video. You you keep saying all right we're gonna we're gonna keep doing it and then you just yeah I know you, but you're still you're like on the show you know I I would expect you to go yeah okay that was fun uh, we'll okay all right well, can we add, can see we you guys edit that? next time.
Can we edit that part where you fucking... No, video over. No, dude, Goodbye. No. Dude. <laughs> dude. See you next time, everybody. Fuck off. I got work to do.